Learn English through stories. Morning Conversation Once upon a time in a quaint little town, two friends, Sarah and Tom, met every morning for a walk. One sunny morning, as they strolled through the park, they exchanged cheerful greetings. Good morning, Sarah. How are you today? Tom asked with a bright smile. Sarah replied, Good morning, Tom. I slept really well, and I'm full of energy today. As they continued their walk, they noticed the clear blue sky and warm sun shining down on them. Isn't it a beautiful morning? Sarah commented, pointing to the sky. Tom nodded in agreement. Indeed, the weather is perfect. It's a great day for our walk. They soon started discussing their plans for the day. So, what do you have planned for today, Tom? Sarah inquired. Tom replied, I have to go to work, but I'm hoping to finish early. How about you? I need to run some errands this morning, Sarah explained. I have a long to-do list. After their walk, they headed to a nearby cafe to have breakfast. They both ordered their favorite items from the menu. What are you having for breakfast, Sarah? Tom asked. I'm going to have a healthy fruit salad and a cup of tea. Sarah replied. Tom chuckled, I can't resist a classic bacon and eggs breakfast. It's my guilty pleasure. As they enjoyed their breakfast, they discussed their daily routines and commutes. How do you usually get to work, Sarah? Tom inquired. I take the bus, Sarah replied. It's convenient, and I can catch up on reading during the ride. Tom shared, I prefer to bike to work. It's a great way to start the day, and it keeps me active. Their conversation soon turned to family matters. How's your family doing? Tom asked. Sarah smiled, I talked to my parents yesterday. They're doing well and sending their love. Tom nodded, that's nice to hear. My kids are excited about the weekend. We're planning a family picnic. Speaking of the weekend, they started discussing their weekend plans. Any exciting plans for the weekend? Sarah inquired. Tom grinned. I'm thinking of going to the movies with the kids on Saturday. It's been a while since we had a movie night. Sarah replied, we might go hiking on Saturday. It's a great way to connect with nature. Their conversation flowed effortlessly, touching on various topics, including health and hobbies. How are you feeling today? Tom. Sarah asked. Tom shrugged, I'm a bit tired from a busy week, but I'll be fine. A good night's sleep should help. Sarah shared, I've been trying to eat healthier recently. Breakfast salads are my latest experiment. As they wrapped up their morning meal, they looked at the time and realized it was time to head their separate ways. Before parting, Tom mentioned an inspirational quote he had recently heard, Remember, Sarah, the early bird catches the worm. Make the most of each morning. Sarah smiled and nodded. Absolutely, Tom. Every morning brings new opportunities doesn't it? With a renewed sense of motivation, 
They said their goodbyes and left the cafe, ready to tackle the day's challenges with positive energy and a sense of connection that their morning conversations had provided. Vocabulary words Quaint attractively unusual or old-fashioned in a charming way. Stroll to walk leisurely or casually. Greetings, expressions of polite recognition or acknowledgement when meeting or parting. Sunny, bright, filled with sunlight and without clouds. Cheerful, full of happiness and positive feelings. Bright, full of light, shining or giving off a lot of light. Energy, the capacity for vigorous activity, vitality. Beautiful, pleasing the senses or mind aesthetically. Plans, ideas, or intentions about what you are going to do in the future. Errands, short trips or tasks you do to accomplish a specific purpose. To-do list, a list of tasks or activities that need to be completed. Breakfast, the first meal of the day, usually eaten in the morning. Fruit salad, a dish made from a mixture of various chopped fruits. Guilty pleasure, something one enjoys even though it may be considered embarrassing or indulgent. Commute the regular journey to work or a place, often involving travel from home to work and back. Convene, to come together or assemble for a meeting or activity. Family matters, topics related to one's family and their well-being. Connection, a bond, relationship, or a link between people or things. Picnic, an outdoor meal, often taken in a natural setting. Hiking, walking in the countryside or wilderness, typically on trails and paths. Nature, the physical world including all living and non-living things. Health, the state of being free from illness or injury, well-being. Hobby, an activity done for pleasure and relaxation during one's free time. Motivation, the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. Quote a passage or statement from a book, speech, or other source repeated or cited by someone else.